Good morning, students. My name is Madam Jai, and I am a teacher from College Tingkatan Enam, Tun Fatima, Durian Down, Melaka. In today's Muat lesson, we will focus on your writing skills. How many of you consider yourselves to be writers? Not many. Well, little do we realize that we actually write quite often. According to recent statistics, in 2020 alone, there have been 23 billion text messages sent out each day worldwide. So everyone tends to write. Not only text messages, it may be recipes, emails, letters, statutory declarations, etc. Writing is and will be part and parcel of our daily lives. For the writing paper today, we will focus on task two, which is the extended writing section. You are advised to spend 50 minutes on this task. You will be given a stimulus in the form of a few sentences. You will need to write at least 250 words. Explore the topic on career choice. The question we will discuss is You recently read a blog post by your favorite blogger. The following comment was made by the blogger Academic excellence guarantees a successful life. Write an essay expressing your opinion on the statement. Write at least 250 words. We will guide you using four essential steps. Step 1. Analyze the question. Step 2. Plan your essay. Step 3. Write your essay. And finally, Step 4. Check your work. Let's look at Step 1. Analyzing the question. To analyze the question, you need to identify the key words, the supporting words and the instructions. You recently read a blog post by your favorite blogger. The following comment was made by the blogger. So, these keywords, academic excellence guarantees a successful life and write an essay expressing your opinion on the statement and write at least 250 words. These are the keywords. Planning your essay. The argumentative essay involves presenting convincing arguments to persuade the target audience to agree with the writer's stand. It presents both sides of the argument but provides reasons or evidence to support the side of the argument that the writer is in favour of. It must have a clear stand. Formal and persuasive language should be used. How to make a stand? You may choose to either agree, disagree, or take a neutral stand. Reinforce your stand with reasons and examples. 
address the opposing side's arguments and refute their claims. When presenting an argument, write in the present tense. The past tense or other tenses may be used when presenting the examples. Once you have decided upon your stand, you may plan your introduction. There are basically five different ways you may write your introductions. One way is the thought-provoking question. What is academic excellence? Here, the writer defines what academic excellence is and what it isn't. Two, an intriguing example. For this topic, the writer may provide examples of famous people who were not excellent academically but achieved success in their lives. For example, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs and even Mark Zuckerberg. Three, provocative quotations. Quotations about this topic that may be used depending on your stand include excellence is not being the best, it's about doing the best. If you disagree and if you agree, you may quote, a dream becomes a goal when action is taken towards its achievement by Bo Bennett. Okay, one tip that I can give you. Some quotes are really worth memorizing for better success in wet writing paper. Four, vivid and perhaps unexpected anecdote. I have a lot of former colleagues with perfect rapport cards and academic track records that are excellently failing at life. How can this be possible? Easy. Nothing can guarantee success in life. Not even your good grades, Ivy League college, not even God-given talent. All the above are nothing else than potential. Potential knowledge, presumed paths to success, possible fruitful careers. This story or anecdote about former colleagues brings to light the topic about academic excellence. Five, a puzzling scenario. We all had teachers who were highly aroused by the sound of their own voice or words. To pass, you just needed to recite their preferred answer. And that was it. For many, academic excellence meant only good grades and a memory exercise. You were cramming from an exam that you forget everything about the next day. We used to study for an exam and not for ourselves. Real life does not happen this way. Success is not one big exam you need to pass. There is no cheating your way to a good result. This is a fantastic scenario that will get the audience who is actually your examiner put on their thinking caps. Next, brainstorm on your three main ideas to support your stand. The main ideas will be used to develop your thesis statement. We will discuss about thesis statement later. Step 3. Writing your essay. Introduction. The introduction should outline your essay. Include a strong thesis statement. Body. This is the main part of your essay. You should write two to three paragraphs in this section. Each paragraph should have a different main point. Once you have written your main point in a topic sentence, elaborate on your topic sentence. Then, give one brief example of your main point. Next, give a brief explanation of the example 
and finally write a sentence that summarizes and reinforces the main point. And conclusion. Summarize your main points. Restate your thesis statement or opinion or stand. Writing a strong thesis statement. Your thesis statement is a sentence that contains your stand and your two to three main ideas. It helps to better organize and develop your argument. It provides your reader with a guide to your argument. Writing an effective topic sentence. A topic sentence introduces the main idea of a paragraph. A topic sentence is most often used at the beginning of a paragraph. Topic sentences should relate back to the thesis statement in the introduction. A good topic sentence summarizes the information in the paragraph. It tells the reader what the paragraph is all about. A good topic sentence should state an idea that can be supported by concrete evidence. What about useful expressions or linkers to improve a sentence or paragraph? By showing how an example supports the main point, how an idea can contrast from the main point. Using the right linkers improves the coherence of the essay by showing connections between the main points in the paragraphs and the thesis statement of your essay. These links help to make a piece of writing flow smoothly and read coherently ensuring that readers can follow the ideas more easily. To agree with a statement or point of view, you may use obviously, there is no doubt that, it is undeniable that, it is certainly true that. To disagree with a statement or point of view, the argument is not relevant as the question whether dot 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 is highly debatable dot dot dot. They are correct to a certain extent, but I disagree with the statement da, 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 da. to explain ideas, giving reasons. This is due to the reason is. It is because explaining the results. Therefore, as a result, consequently, further explanation. In other words, that is to say, in addition, to add to that, to give examples and supporting information. This supports the idea that for example, for instance, to illustrate, to make a comparison with a previous example. A better example is, a different example is, a less well-known example is, a similar example is, to discuss ideas and opinions. It could be argued that this suggests that it appears that to evaluate arguments or solutions to problems, the solution would be highly effective because dot dot dot. The statement presents dot 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 aspects of dot dot dot. The statement questions the view that dot dot dot. The author identifies dot 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 reasons, issues, problems. To provide advice, 
reasons, opinions, justifications. I strongly recommend that dot 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 should dot dot dot. I would suggest that dot dot dot. I believe that dot dot dot. I would advise dot dot dot. This proves that dot dot dot. To emphasize, obviously dot dot dot. It is definitely dot dot dot. To show sequence, firstly, secondly, next dot dot dot. Finally or lastly dot dot dot. To conclude, in short dot dot dot. To summarize or to conclude. Dear students, now I'm going to give you an example of a response with a thesis statement when you do not agree with the statement. And this will be a brief outline of your essay. Academic excellence does not guarantee success in life. Okay, so these are the points, other factors to consider. Personality, intelligence, parental upbringing. So if these are the three main points, point one in your topic sentence, you can say, excel academically. But if you have a poor personality, you will fail in life. Then you elaborate, unable to get a good job with a good salary, fail interview, not outstanding in workplace, poor work attitude. Example, okay. the late Lim Gotong did not have paper qualifications but was successful in life. Explanation. He had a dream and worked with determination. Never gave up despite challenges. Linking sentence. Personality can be more important than academic excellence in determining success. Point two. Topic sentence. Intelligence. Elaboration. Ability to solve problems. Have confidence to face difficult situations. Independent. Example. Thomas Edison. Never performed well in school, but invented the first commercially viable light bulb. Explanation. Creative. Trial and error. Never give up attitude. Linking sentence. Thinking out of the box supersedes flying colours in exams due to the latest regurgitation of facts. Point three, topic sentence, paternal upbringing. Elaboration, shows us the right path in life, helps us to differentiate right from wrong, instills good life principles and values. Example, parents impart values when we are young. Explanation, focus on values in life, likeable character with the right attitude. Linking sentence, success depends on how parents nurture the personality traits of their children rather than focusing on their academic performance in school. Conclusion To be successful in life cannot depend only on academic excellence. It's not a guarantee of success. Need to consider other factors too. Now we come to step four. Checking your work. 
This is the most important part actually, revising and editing. This is where you can delete unnecessary information, give more explanations, define terms and rewrite paragraphs to make your ideas clearer and enhance readability. Remember, check the coherence of the essay. Delete unnecessary information or details. Avoid unnecessary details. Do not ramble. Summarize the information. What are some of the good aspects of an essay that examiners look out for? Firstly, good cohesive devices used. For example, in addition, therefore, consequently, etc. Sentences and ideas are well linked. There should be a good flow of ideas in your essay and do not beat around the bush. Stay on the point as many candidates tend to put in irrelevant details and some tend to ramble on and on. Good paragraphing. Usually, a minimum of five paragraphs are needed for task two. Points are in sequence and examples are provided. Examples will support your points provided they are relevant. Minimal grammatical errors. Many candidates tend to make simple, singular, plural mistakes and even subject-verb agreement mistakes. Some express expressions should be used. Example, proverbs or idiomatic expressions. Add some good quotes to enhance the readability of your essay. Varied vocabulary. Dear students, here is a sample of the answer. Human beings are creatures that can be influenced easily. They tend to follow what others are practicing. The current world has defined that people should be judged based on their academic excellence. And it has caused an obligation among people to strive towards academic excellence due to higher demands of top achievers in the career world. However, most of us have neglected the fact that academic excellence is not the sole factor to determine one's future. The other factors to consider are one's personality, intelligence and parental upbringing. If one can excel academically but has a poor personality, one will fail in life. If one is unable to get a good job with a good salary or fails an interview or not outstanding in his or her workplace and has a poor work attitude, one will not excel either. For example, the late Lim Go Tong did not even have paper qualifications but was successful in life. He had a dream and worked with determination. He never gave up despite the many challenges he faced. Thus, personality can be more important than academic excellence in determining success. Next, the other factor to consider is intelligence. An intelligent person would have the ability to solve problems, have confidence to face difficult situations and be independent. For instance, Thomas Edison never performed well in school but invented the first commercially viable light bulb. He was not only creative, he had the never give up attitude because he was only successful after many failed attempts. In other words, success came through trial and error for Thomas Edison. It can definitely be said that another factor that is very important for success besides academic excellence is intelligence. It is undeniable 
that paternal upbringing shows us the right path in life. Parents not only help us to differentiate right from wrong, they also instill good life principles and values. Since I was young, my mother used to tell lots of folk tales from India that emphasized on moral values such as respect for elders and filial piety. When my mother was bedridden, I decided to take no pay leave to care for her instead of sending her to a care home. This supports the idea that parents impart values when we are young. If we focus on values in life by being a likeable character with the right attitude, I am certain that we will be successful. Success depends on how parents nurture the personality traits of their children rather than focusing on their academic performance in school. In conclusion, in order to be successful in life, one cannot depend only on academic performance as it does not guarantee success. One needs to consider other factors such as personality, intelligence and parental upbringing too. Now students, let us recapitulate what we have learned today. I have given you a step-by-step -step guide on how to write an extended essay, particularly argumentative writing. Firstly, analyze the question, understand what the task requires by looking at the keywords. Next, plan your essay by deciding on your stand and the main points of the essay while writing the essay. Keep the question at the back of your mind so as not to divert or move away from the topic. One of the many weaknesses of essays I have marked in the past is that students tend to write general essays or sometimes they include irrelevant details. Provide relevant reasons and examples to support your arguments. Develop and organize your ideas in a logical flow. Finally, proofread your essay and always be conscious of the time. All the best in writing fantastic and convincing essays, dear students. Take care and stay safe.